So in this problem, we're told to compute delta y and dy for the given values of x. And dx equals uh, delta x. It says round, round your answers to three decimal places. We're told that y equals e to the x, x equals 0, and then delta x is equal to 0.4. So what we're trying to find is delta y and dy. So I usually start off by finding dy. So let's go ahead and find that first. So let's just first write our function. So y equals e to the x. And so what you want to do is differentiate both sides with respect to x. So if I differentiate y with respect to x, it's going to become dy dx. And then if I differentiate e to the x with uh, respect to e to the x, uh, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, so it doesn't really change. So e to the x. And then we're trying to find dy, right? So what we want to do is get dy by itself. So if we multiply both sides by dx, it'll give us dy. So dy is equal to e to the x times dx. And so what we need to do is just plug in x and dx. So x is going to be equal to 0, right? So they tell us so. Uh, dy is going to be equal to e to the 0 times dx. So they tell us that dx is going to be equal to delta x. They're giving us delta x, which is 0.4. So we just plug in 0.4. We know dy equals e to the 0, which is just 1, times 0.4, which is just going to be equal to 0.4. So dy is going to be equal to 0.4. So let's do the next one. So let's find delta y. So to find delta y, you're going to use this formula. So delta y equals f of x plus delta x minus f of x. So uh, f of x is just our function y right here. So basically, we're going to do delta y equals uh, e raised to x plus delta x. So x is 0. And then delta x is 0.4. So it's basically just e to the 0.4. Then we minus uh, e, right? So e to the x, but with respect to x, so 0. So it's going to be e to the 0.4 minus e to the 0 is just 1. So delta y equals this. So e to the 0.4 is going to be equal to 1.4918 and so on. Minus 1. So when you solve it, you should get 0. 4, 9, 1, 8, 2, 4, and so on. Uh, it says round to three decimal places, so if we round, it's going to be 0. 0.49, and then this is an 8 here, this is going to become a 2, so it's going to become 0. 0.492. So yeah, these right here are going to be your answers to this problem.